I couldn't have planned for this. This apocalypse. Rent's coming up. I have a hard time just stopping. The moment this whole thing started, it just lit a bulb in my head. Like I gotta, I gotta get onto the next project. And there's been a project we've been entertaining but continually putting off. We finally made that first big investment into getting it started. I'm just trying not to rush it, you know? I'm trying to take it day by day, uh, put as much time into it as possible, learn as much as possible. All this to say, uh, and, and this is something I just read in a book, we don't rise to our expectations, we fall to our training. This isn't necessarily anything physical, but mentally it's something that you'll see right now, the people who are about it are gonna separate from the people who aren't about it. Because for me, somebody who's kind of obsessed over the idea of damps, not even the whole barbershop, just the idea of damps, obsessive over it and making it become something, I've come to understand now that it doesn't matter what happens, I won't stop. It takes 20 years to get 20 years of experience. I'm experiencing something right now that I could have never prepared for, but my mental game was prepared. You gotta think about it, everything's been snatched. Now this has become like a film studio. Again, it's a, the rent's expensive for that, but you can't control everything, you won't control everything. Your effort and your ability to adapt to situations, that's what makes you as a brand. That's what makes us confidently put ownership on a, a sweater and sell it to people, is because we know what it takes to be an owner. Owner just doesn't sit on their ass. Same thing with an entrepreneur. Everybody wants to be an entrepreneur right now, you know, and there's only so many motivational videos you can watch. I mean, when it comes down to it, throw all that out the door because right now is the realness. I got rent to pay tomorrow. No, I got rent to pay 30 days from tomorrow. This isn't, this isn't no baby pricing. This is money. This is real money. If, if there's no money generated by the business, but you still got to pay a, like stacks for rent, that overhead piles up on you and that's pressure. But that pressure right now, for me at least, is cutting at me, cutting at me. But I feel like I'm just getting stronger. I feel like it's a diamond. I, I think when we come out of this, dance is gonna be something completely different. Completely different. So I just hear a lot of people talking about stocks, talking about investing right now. I was watching a, another YouTuber, Chris Bossio, he's a barber too. He was speaking on what is better, what's a better business to invest in? A lemonade stand or a stock? And when he broke down the math, think about you're just on your ends right now. You don't, you don't really feel comfortable investing everything into a company you don't know about. But at the same time, you want to start your own project. You want to work on your own passion. A really good stock will give you 10 to 20% on your return. When you talk stocks, you usually talk long term, but let's just talk about year. So next year, where do you want to be as a human being? Do you want more money or do you want to enjoy what you're doing and on the path to making more money? So let's go back to the stock. A hundred dollar stock goes up to 120, makes you 20 bucks. A lemonade stand, he was saying, and the lemon, you can re replace the lemonade stand with your passion, whatever that is, and investing into that. But a lemonade stand would make you, a mediocre lemonade stand would make you like $5,000 in the summer. So when you think about it like that, which one was the better investment? All that to say is put the money into yourself. Put it into making yourself better because a stock is not going to make you better. Money does not make, does not make us better, bro. In the past, I worked my ass off and it was all for money. There was no heart. And then you come to this realization that moments like this will take all your money away. You know what I mean? Imagine you got a mortgage to pay right now. Imagine you got rent to pay. The money got, money's gone. The money doesn't stay with you. Let's say we lose all our money from this experience. What do I have left? If I'm stripped of everything, what do I have left? Because I'm doing something that I love, I'm left with the experience, which means that I'm able to recreate this. I can do this again because I've done it already. But let's say I'm doing working my whole life for money and then a situation like this happens, I lose all my money. What am I left with? Nothing. I mean, I wasn't doing anything that made me, I wasn't happy making the money. I don't wanna be in this line of work that I'm in and I just lost all my money. So at that point, a lot of things will start kicking in. You know what I mean? A lot of emotional things. And I'll tell you what to invest in right now. You invest into that thing, that thing that has been calling your name from the get-go, and you know what it is. Everybody's on hiatus, nobody has to work right now. So what you need to do 
is you got to figure out how do I invest into what I wanted to become. And that way, you don't have to go back to that shitty job. Nobody should go back to a shitty job after this. So the best investment, forget stocks, forget real estate. I'm sorry. But right now, we got to get our active income. We got to figure out how to make money and love what we're doing at the same time. The money doesn't matter. Trust me. The money is gone. You know what I mean? The money is gone as soon as something like this happens. Like, this is going to milk my bank account. I'm still paying insurance. I'm still paying for a lot of things, bro. We got a bunch of product coming in. Money's already been put down. Down payments. I mean, we're, we're, we wanted to grow right now. You know what I mean? Springtime. And unfortunately, it's not happening. You don't see me stopping, bro. Like, I just made a big investment into the, the, the new direction of the company. I'm still out here putting out video, pumping out content. I mean, it doesn't stop. We just pivot. We adapt. That's what's beautiful about humans is we can adapt. You can, you can burn this down and I'll be back. I'll be back. You know, and I'll probably be back better. That's what's crazy about it. Like, my homies, you know, they'll, they'll say I'm, I'm nuts for buying art, for example. You know, and my thing is, like, the art... All these one of ones that we got, all this merch, you know, all this stuff. I enjoy walking into here, seeing all this. It motivates me. My homies, you know, they've never spent no money on art. You know, they don't think about that. I was talking to my boy the other day and he asked me how much I paid for it. I told him and he was like, he's telling me how crazy I am for that piece right there. Even that piece, you know, very simple piece. But how I think when I'm buying art, first of all, it doesn't die. But every day when I walk into here, and I'm looking around these walls. What am I seeing? If what I'm seeing, is it making me better? Is it keeping me on my feet? Because I always think a lot of times now, before this ever happened, I, I always know that there's hard times ahead, always. Like, it's definite. But I know that I have the balls to get over it. When I'm looking at my walls, I want to be reassured that what I'm looking at is going to transfer the right type of energy to me. 100% when I'm down and I'm looking at it, and I was about to quit. I'll look at these, I'll look at the pieces on these walls and I'll be like, nah, I'm not quitting. All money in, no money out. You know what I mean? That type of that type of mentality. It doesn't come from nowhere, guys. Now my mind is taking me somewhere else with this because I want to take this to the next level. It's a beautiful time. It's a tough time, definitely. When I think about it like this, to me, it's a win. You know what I mean? And that's why I'm happy I made this vlog right now because I'll be able to go about my day in a much better mood. And I'm just wired like that now. You only live one life. And you know, and you gotta give everything you have to this life. For me right now, it's give everything. You know what I mean? Leave nothing on the table. That's why, that's why we've been saying 25, eight or nothing lately. Cause how fast this was snatched, it's really 25, eight or nothing. Damps, damps.